there are no secret to success it is the result of preparation hard work and learning from failure namaskar welcome to next ies i hope you are doing well in this video we will cover major headlines of the hindu indian express and press information bureau so without wasting any time let's start today's discussion and your first article focuses upon chabahar port its benefits and challenges and it is in the news because recently india and iran signed a 10 year contract for the operation of chabahar port which is located on the gulf of oman it is the only deep sea iranian port with direct access to the indian ocean it has two ports shahid kalantri and shahid behesti talking about its importance it is strategically located at the crossroads of south asia central asia and the middle east and it provides india with direct access to afghanistan and central asia bypassing pakistan but there are some emerging issues related to chabahar port like recently us has warned countries against engaging business deals with iran due to ongoing sanctions this raises concerns about the potential repercussions for india and businesses involved in the chabahar project and the region surrounding chabahar port has been prone to instability and security threats therefore ensuring the safety and security of the port and its operations will be crucial for its success. is next article talks about menstrual hygiene in indian prisons now let's know more about it friends india has witnessed a promising shift in the landscape of menstrual hygiene management over the years and fifth round of national family health survey revealed that about 8 out of 10 young women aged between 15 to 24 years are now using safe menstrual hygiene products but women in indian prisons remains overlooked therefore india has been making consistent efforts to improve access to menstrual hygiene products especially among young women through the menstrual hygiene scheme which includes distribution of free or subsidized sanitary napkins in 2023 india took important step by formulating the national menstrual hygiene policy to recognize menstruation as a natural process that demands more meaningful attention now recently ghana has signed deals with the reliance geo subsidiary tech mahindra and other vendors to build 4g and 5g infrastructure talking about ghana it is a country of western africa which is situated on the gulf of guinea and it shares borders with cote de ivory burkina faso and togo now recently more than 2000 people buried in papua new guinea landslides papua new guinea is an island country that lies in the southwestern pacific it shares borders with indonesia australia and solomon islands it is mainly mountainous but has low lying plains in southern new guinea and do you know friends it has several active volcanoes now recently nasa launched small climate satellite to study earth's pole and this mission is named as prefire mission which was jointly developed by nasa and the university of wisconsin medicine this will measure how much heat the arctic and antarctica radiate into space and how this influence the planet's climate now recently india libya energy talks held and discussions were focused on energy sector including increased crude oil trade resumption of exploration and production projects in libya now let's know more about libya so friends its capital is tripoli and it is a country in the maghreb region in north africa libya shares borders with mediterranean sea egypt sudan chad niger algeria and tunisia and recently central board of direct taxes has notified the cost inflation index for the financial year 2024 25 for calculating long term capital gains and do you know friends the cost inflation index is used by taxpayers to compute gains arising out of sale of capital assets after adjusting inflation so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms